Hey guys, this is Chris Ritchie and I'm back with another video. This time around we're going to take a look at Memory Splices TB3 Editor. And what this is, is it's a VST or a standalone program that Memory Splice created. Uh, they're a group down in uh, Atlanta that created an editor for the TB3. And what this does is it allows you to automate parameters in the TB3 but also get kind of under the hood and edit some of the presets that it comes with and make your own custom presets where you could actually edit the engine that's inside it beyond the controls that are just on the TB3. So it's a pretty cool program and I've been playing around with it. Like I said it runs as a VST so you could actually record automation into your DAW and also edit your presets and then on top of that you can actually save your presets into your user banks and I'll show you how to do that so to start we've got just a uh, TB3 with a loop going so I have my TB3 in here as an external instrument sending MIDI to USB 3 on my MX1 channel 2 and the audio is coming back in so we'll play that and you'll see that I can edit the I can tweak the parameters on the TB3. And you'll see as I'm editing them, they're also registering in the plugin. And I can also tweak them here. even it registers the XY stuff. But like I said, the, the more exciting and interesting stuff is that you can actually get inside and tweak some of these presets. You can also send program changes so as you'll see as I'm sending these program changes the preset on the TB3 is changing you can change your banks and then you can actually so let's say we go to some of these more um, advanced or kind of more different sounding presets than the regular acid or TB303 sounds so we've got this one and if we wanted to tweak this all we have to do is request the data and you'll see that it downloaded the, the preset into the VST and we can actually edit this and it shows us all the effects the distortion whether it's on or off and all the effects that are used in it so let's take this loop and we can tweak the You can see how you can turn on both oscillators. So let's just try creating something from scratch and see what we get. So we'll leave both oscillators on. We'll add some white noise. Tweak the K. Here's another interesting thing. Look how many different distortion models you can actually play with in here. So these are all built into the TB3. We just never had access to edit them until now. Um, there's other editors out there. Um, this one's pretty straightforward though, and I'm not sure that some of them run in Max for Live rather than as a VST. So you're limited to Ableton, whereas this you could run in almost anything. <laughs> Thank you. 
So you can see that there's a lot of different sounds you can come up with. Also, all the different effects that you have. Um, so like, for an example, one of the tracks that I have, I used a, a 303 plugin, and I wanted to recreate that into uh, the TB3 so that I could keep it as a preset on the TB3 and not have to run it on my live set. So what I did was I started with a basic 303 sound. Had a little delay on it. But also had a pitch shifter. And so if you're familiar with my track, uh, this is Underground, that's almost exactly the sound that's in that track. Um, so I was able to recreate it in here, and then all I have to do is hold down the Envelope Mod button, and I turn this knob, the Value knob, and I can pick where I want to save it, and I could save it, oops, I can save it to User Bank 5, press the Play Stop button. And now I've got it in here for whenever I need it. So this is the editor. Uh, if you want to check it out, go to facebook.com slash memory splice or youtube.com slash memory splice. Uh, I think it's a really neat tool and it can be valuable. And like I said, it also runs standalone, so you don't even need to run it as a plugin. So if you're just looking to put a couple presets in quick uh, this is a great tool or if you want to see how the presets that are in the TV3 now um, how they were created you can go in here and edit it so if you like it go check it out uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel for other tips and tools and also if you want to share some of your presets that you've created um, feel free to post them in the comments uh, I don't know if you know how to back up and restore your presets from the TB3 uh, but there's information on the Roland website in the support tools on how to back up and restore uh, presets so if you have any presets you want to share uh, feel free to post them in the comments and thanks for checking out the video